All right, what's going on? Multi-dimensional arrays. So just a fair warning, this is a difficult topic. If you want, you can skip this video. You won't hurt my feelings. But if you'd like to know what a multi-dimensional array is, well, here we go. So a multi-dimensional array is an array of arrays. So I have three standard arrays. I have different car manufacturers, Ford, Chevy, and Toyota. So each array has three different kinds of cars. A multi-dimensional array is good if you need like some sort of grid or matrix of data. So what I would like to do is to create an array of arrays to simulate maybe like a parking lot to park all of these cars. So to create a multi-dimensional array, this will be a two-dimensional array. We need to list the data type of what we're storing, strings, then a set of straight brackets, and then within the straight brackets, add a comma. So now I'm going to name this array, let's say parking lot equals, and then we add our curly braces, much like what we do with standard arrays. However, I'm going to add each array within the set of curly braces, and then separate each with a comma. So this can be somewhat difficult to read. I like to kind of condense it all and just make it look nice. So you can see that this resembles sort of like a grid with rows and columns, and that visual is going to help us. So to access one of these elements, we need to list an index for the row and an index for the column. So let's say I would like to change this explorer to something else. So in order to access this element, I'm going to type the name of our multidimensional array, straight brackets, and then I need a row and column. So these always start with zero. This would be row zero, row one, row two. I need to access row one, so that would be zero, then comma for column, and then I need to count the row number, zero, one, two. So that would be zero comma two for this element within my two-dimensional array. So I'm going to change this to something else. So let's say that this is a Ford Fusion. And then let's display these elements. We can use a for each loop. For each, the data type is string. Let's say car in parking lot. And then I will just iterate through these. Console.writeline car. So this will iterate nine times, one for each element within our two dimensional array. So we have a Mustang, F-150, then Fusion. So we updated Explorer to Fusion. So let's update maybe this Corolla to something else. So let's count the row number. That would be 0, 1, 2. Parking lot 2, and the column number is 0. And let's say that this is a Tacoma. And try this again. OK, we have instead of a Corolla, a Tacoma. Now, if you would like to display this as like a grid, we can use nested for loops for that. So let's get rid of this for each loop. I'll just turn this all into one giant comment. Okay, so to display this as like a grid, we'll use nested for loops. The outer loop will be for int i equals zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than parking lot dot get length method and then pass in the dimension so pass in zero for the first dimension i plus plus and then we need a nested for loop so change i to j get length one so this represents the second dimension remember that these always start with zero and then change i to j plus plus so during each iteration of the inner for loop Let's change this from right line to right. I will display parking lot straight brackets i comma j. Then I'm just going to add a space to separate each car. And then when we escape our for loop, we need to go down to the next row. So I'll use an empty right line statement. So by using nested for loops, we can display our two dimensional array as sort of a grid or matrix. So we have our Mustang, F-150, our Fusion, Corvette, Camaro, Silverado, Tacoma, Camry, and RAV4. So if you ever need like a grid or matrix of data, you can always use a multi-dimensional array. And these are kind of the steps to set it up. 
So yeah, those are multi-dimensional arrays. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.